Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And my wife loves chicken, and one particular chicken dish she really enjoy uh, is orange chicken, which is the version that make Panda Express famous. So early this year, when I was at the supermarket, I noticed that uh, Panda Express has produced a version of their orange chicken sauce. And knowing my wife enjoy orange chicken, I decided I'm going to buy a bottle and give it a try. Uh, normally, I do not like to use pre-made sauces uh, because I find them rather restrictive. I much prefer to create my own sauce uh, so that I know exactly what I put into the sauce in creating the flavor that I like. But when I saw this uh, pre-made orange sauce, uh, it was very tempting to give that a try. Uh, one thing about using pre-made sauces is that uh, it definitely makes cooking the orange chicken simpler. In fact, cooking this chicken dish takes less than four minutes. And I must say, the result actually turned out quite good. And by having this sauce available, it allows me to create chicken with many different flavors. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple orange chicken uh, with cashews. Uh, one of the goals of my fast cooking system, uh, which stands for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, is to create a mainly plant based diet. Uh, we try to consume about 80% of our calories from whole plants, uh, the remaining 20% from the meat and dairy. And we try to eliminate fast and processed foods as completely as possible. And my friend Susan also follows the same kind of a diet. And she told me that with this diet, she is able to maintain her weight effortlessly. And she never counts calories or try to make sure she eats all the nutrients that she should. And she said all this comes naturally to her. And she's in her early 80s. She is as healthy as she ever been. And my wife feels the same way. But this does not stop her that she would like to have orange chicken once in a while. And with my advanced prepping method, uh, I could make chicken any time I want. And I could uh, take chicken from freezer to the wok in less than 10 minutes. Uh, this meal is an example that I start out by cooking a vegetable medley dish, uh, which takes me about 10 minutes. Uh, by that time, the chicken is thawed. And it took me another 5 minutes to cook the chicken. In a little bit over 20 minutes from the time I step foot in the kitchen uh, to the time when dinner is served on the table. I remember one viewer wrote to me and he said, Why in such a hurry? Uh, cooking is supposed to be slow, so you can enjoy the process. He told me that uh, he often takes about uh, one to two hours to cook a meal. Uh, he said he would relax and maybe even have a glass of wine. I could not agree with him more uh, if I have the time. Uh, for most of us in our modern lifestyle, time is a premium. And we always have fast and processed food lurking in the background, ready to fill the void. And for this reason, home cooking, the efficiency is critical. And this is probably one of the strongest reasons that uh, we don't cook much anymore. And because by human nature, we all want to conserve the energy. Uh, if we could eat what we want uh, in uh, less than 30 minutes, why spend two hours? And this is the reason I developed the fast cooking system uh, to make home cooking as efficient as possible. Uh, so that when you face a choice between fast and processed food against home cooking, uh, you will pick home cooking. Advanced prepping is the calling card for efficiency in home cooking. A flu advanced prepping, uh, you can thaw out chicken from the freezer in about 10 minutes in a sink of uh, warm water. The chicken is already cut to size for stir frying. You can take a more detailed look in this video of how I prep the chicken in advance for stir frying. By spending about uh, one hour uh, each time when you prepped five pounds of chicken, uh, it will last you for about a month. 
Uh, after I thawed out the chicken, I coat them with a thin layer of cornstarch. Uh, this will create a light breading. Uh, I'm going to cook this dish in my Cuisine at 14 inch stainless steel wok. I start with about one and a half tablespoon of canola oil. I'm going to use a pair of tongs to spread the chicken uh, on the surface of the wok. For this occasion, I also add half teaspoon of chili pepper flakes as well as one teaspoon of uh, granulated sugar. So the method that I use in frying the chicken is referred to as shallow frying. But this method is very similar to deep frying except you use a small amount of oil. You first fry the ingredient on one side and then you turn it over and you fry the other side. It is a very convenient method to create the same type of flavor and texture of deep frying. Except you use far less oil and also you only use a small amount of breading. In this case, I use cornstarch rather than flour, uh, which works a little bit better because it provides a more crispy texture. Next, I turn the chicken over uh, to fry the other side. Because the chicken is in small pieces and they are thinly sliced, they fry very quickly. Uh, the added sugar has one important function because it causes the chicken to become caramelized. It gives the chicken better flavor. And you don't need much sugar at all, and usually one teaspoon is sufficient. Uh, the orange chicken from Panda Express, uh, they are deep fried. Uh, this shallow frying method uh, provides a compromise. Uh, by now, the chicken is probably about 80-90% done. I switch to a wok spatula. I still fry the chicken for another 10 to 15 seconds. I next add about 2 tablespoons of orange sauce. I like the sourcing uh, on the lighter side. I next add about quarter cup of chopped scallions. I always have some on hand. Uh, they are great for garnishing any type of dishes. I next add one tablespoon of uh, sesame seed. By this time, the chicken is done and I turn off the heat. After a few quick stir to mix the ingredients in the wok, the dish is ready to be served. Uh, cooking this dish is fast, simple and easy. And the result is actually quite good. The flavor of the orange chicken match very much of those that you find at Panda Express. I love cashews, so it is great to have cashews in this dish. And this orange chicken dish is as good as that you will find at Panda Express. But the great thing is that you can control how you want to cook them, and on top of that, uh, you can regulate the portion size. For this orange chicken dish, uh, we use 8 ounces of uh, chicken, which is perfect uh, for my wife and I. Uh, since frying the chicken is a template, and you can make modification and adjustment to how you want to season the chicken. You can create sweet and sour flavor or teriyaki flavor. And the purpose of my cooking system is to make it as flexible as possible. I post a video every day uh, to demonstrate my fast cooking system. And if you are interested to learn more as well as to adopt the cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.